down in the bowels of my home, in a secret place, is where the real surgeries occur on harmonicas, my surgical home. Down here I have the equipment necessary to reshape metal. Well, this is the first video on the customization of the Swan SW1248. I chose it because of its short slide action and I actually think these are good harps when I'm done with them. Now, one thing a lot of people don't know is that the shape of the cover has a tremendous impact on the sound of the harp, the shape of the cover. Now take a look at this cover. It actually goes in. Oh my, oh my. We're going to have to reshape it. So this first video, you probably thought it was gonna take the harp apart or something. No, we're going to reshape metal together. <laughs> now, let me go over a few things. See how the cover comes this way and then like that? That's a 90 degree crimp. Now, if, if I, what I wanna do is I wanna make this cover open up gradually like this. But I've got a 90 degree turn of the metal. Now, if you take a 90 degree turn of metal and you try to bend it, it crimps and it would be ruined, ruined. The only way that I can put an arc into this cover is to first take this back edge and pound it with a metal hammer under giving it an angle of about 50 degrees. And then I will be able to reshape. Okay. See, I told you, this is the world of secrets and the bowels of the place where I work. Wooden table to pound, hammers, my little kit of screwdrivers. Let's get this cover off. We'll do the upper one first. I will say again, I'm, I'm really a fan of Swan Harmonicas. I, when they're customized, they're quite nice. And for $56, I mean, wow. Okay, so I just am taking the covers off one at a time. Now, by the way, see these stanchion things here? When I'm done, I'll have to make a new one that's higher. But I got the stuff to do that. I've also got a drill press. I can go right through that comb if I need. But let's start with the upper comb, okay? So job one is to bend this over. Don't You don't want to bend all the way over to here because this is needed for the shaping to hold. Metal has its strength from the curvatures. So I don't want to pound that flat on, on this end and here. And you got you're probably saying, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. You're going to pound metal all time. You bet. I think of metal as a fluid thing that I can move around. It's quite soft. Okay, rule number one when we're ready to begin our exercise is to cover the cover with tape so we don't damage the finish. You know, you start pounding on a, a piece of metal. You know, you can, you can really mess things up real quick. You know, scratching the metal. I don't want to damage the part. So I lay the tape very cleanly here. See, no crimps. Tape's totally flat and smooth. And now I'm going to take it. There's the 90 degree curve down. Okay, there's the 90 degrees. And I can just tuck this back here like that. Now I can pound on it. Now, my job right now is to bring this edge down all the way along. How am I going to do that? Well, I'm gonna lay it right here on this edge. I wonder if I can get you a better angle here maybe so you can really see what I'm doing. Isn't this fun? Okay, and then I'm gonna take a hammer. Which one do I wanna work with? Ball peen, okay. So I lay the cover here. This part will go here and then I'll whack down to bring that edge down. By hand. Oh 
Oh my, it's going awfully easy. See? It's already starting to go down. Just those few pounds here. It's not at 90 degrees anymore here, see? It's more like 70. Easy does it. The lip goes here and then very gentle. We don't want to, you know, you can always do more, right? I feel for the edge here. Where is the end? I don't want, I told you, I don't want to go beyond too far. I've gotten it to 70 degrees already. It's not at 90. It will take a curve pretty soon. Don't forget, once I bring this under more, I'll be able to curve that cover. Never bend covers off the harp when you go to give them an arch. Only this kind of stuff can you do. You don't ever want to upset the lay of the cover on the instrument. The trick now is to make sure that everybody has about the same amount of crimp. Bingo! That one's done. Okay, same thing over here, right? We have that, tape. You wanna put the tape on, you wanna make sure. This is black plastic duct tape. It's quite thick, it's quite nice for this type of work. I lay it on again, flat, no crimps, because it'll put a crimp right in the middle, in the metal. Then I push this over to give myself that lovely 90 degree turn there and then these guys just come down like that on the back so the the, the cover is protected. Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of fun things you can do with harp. Why would I want to open up the covers at the back? It'll give it better sound. Once I air tighten this it's going to have more volume and those covers were just too close. Now will I have to put longer stanchions in? I might. I'll see how it works. Here we go. Sometimes when I do this, the tape will wear through and I'm actually hitting the metal. I don't like to do that. These, these are pretty soft metal. And you might say, well, how do you know how much you've pounded it over? I feel it with my thumb and look at it. You can see it's not at 90 degrees anymore. As far as I'm concerned, we're about done with this. But you can see I'm, I'm a gentle pounder, wouldn't you say? Very gentle. And then, you know, inspect twice. Yeah. Okay, I'm satisfied. Now we just take off our tape. If I didn't use tape, all the metal would be dented, scratched, banged, damaged. But this way, I haven't damaged anything. You'd be surprised how much you can bang on metal if it's protected and not cause too much trouble. One does have to be creative about one's working on harmonicas. Na 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 na.
There she goes. See? It's no longer at 90 degrees and we'll take a bend. And come in here and get rid of some of that residue. Uh-huh. Yeah, quite nice. I can also go like this to push it down a little more if I want to even it out. You know, just leaning it into the... But this is pretty good. But, look, no damage to the upper edge of the harmonica. It's like new. It didn't get dented and smashed in the wrong place. It just took the edge down. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. And here, again, the upper cover is in absolutely new condition. No damage of any kind, but this side is bent down. Very nice. I'm going to take here, I've got one high spot. And just push it down by hand. Quite nice, so I can fix the angle. These covers are reshaped. I'm going to put them back on the harp, and in the next video, I'm going to show you how to bend open the covers. Job done.